So what is up, you guys? I really wanted to talk about a topic because um, I just found out this morning, just waking up from a nap, um, you guys, and it's something serious, okay? Hold on, I'm using the bathroom. But, uh, y'all, did y'all hear about Tamar, Tamar Braxton, um, committing suicide at the Ritz Carlton Hotel with her boyfriend. Y'all, this is so freaking crazy because let me tell you, okay. This lady put up an Instagram video two days, two days before that, okay. Two days before. And she said, Lord, somebody please help me with this child. I need a break. And he was loud on the video. He was saying over, she was singing over top of him being loud and obnoxious like kids do, right? So, she committed suicide. She she was like, Lord, please help me with these two. Please help me with this child. Like, I need a vacation. That's what she put, right? And I guess her boyfriend had seen it or whoever she was with had seen it. So, he took her on a vacation as he should because he's her man and she was crying out for help. Probably wasn't getting no help from Vince as men do when they have children with us they um they tend to when y'all have children with somebody else and you end up most women end up being left with the child unless you he has a good father okay now my situation i don't even want to talk about it but um i understand where she's coming from okay because I have been through that before. I have literally, when I had my son, I had postpartum depression. And um, I had posted something on the internet one day. And I was like, Lord, somebody please just come get him. And this is when I first had him. I was like, I just need a mental break. All this crying is about to drive me crazy. <laughs> I think my cousin or my mom, one of them came and got my baby from me and gave me a mental break. Because you guys... You have to understand when people, when women like us have children all the time, every day, all day, it will literally drive you crazy. And we don't just be saying that just to try to get, go out and have fun with our spouses or just be trying to, you know, go out here and be out with our friends. We literally be crying out for help. And I think that's what happened to her. She was literally crying out for help for somebody to give her a damn break, a.k.a. Vince. And I bet you he didn't do it. And he probably was like, oh, she just want to get away from her kids. She don't really need no break. She just talking mess. This is just another one of her, her episodes of her just blah, blah, running her mouth. While you go out and live your life and be whoever you want to be with your spouse, us women, we still have to deal with our children. And it's not fair sometimes. And especially with the COVID going on, you know, that can be a lot for a person. And I believe that's what happened to her. That's exactly what the hell happened. She, she got overwhelmed, like we do. And it was in my, well, had a mental breakdown. Even though she got taken out on vacation, because I, I guarantee you, nine times out of ten, she had to take her son with her. Because I'm sure her her baby daddy, ex-husband, did not come get that child. And they said they found her, her boyfriend found her in the, in the um, bathroom at the Ritz Carlton, unresponsive. And he had called the ambulance because he, he didn't know what to do. And they said it looks like she was drinking a whole lot of alcohol and some type of unknown drug she took. And um, she was not responding. So hopefully she pulls through. They said now. Okay, I'm sorry about that. My music had ended up cutting me off. But you guys, you just have to understand what these women tell you out here that they need a break from their children. And they tell you to please come get the child and to actually help out and to do right. You need to listen to the woman because nine times out of 10, she needs a, a mental break. She needs to be able to go out 
and she needs to be able to have her fucking time. And I, a lot of men don't take that shit serious from the woman. But we have to deal, you have to understand, you have to deal with a little person that you have to take care of. You have to do everything for. And that shit will drive you fucking nuts. It will drive you nuts if you're doing it every day, all day, and you don't get a break. Men don't understand that shit, man. It's serious. She was literally crying out for help on her Instagram. You could see it, it was a cry for help. She was crying out for help. And nobody sat up there and listened to her. Cause we'll do it all night. We have nine times out of 10 women, us women, we'll do it all nonchalantly and not make it seem like it's a big deal. Or we'll ask you one time and that'll be it. But deep down inside, like we want to beg for help, but it's a pride thing. It's an emotional thing, you know? And I just felt bad for her when I seen it because I went to her page and I'm looking, I'm like, let me see what she wrote up here. What was the last thing that she said? That was the last thing that she said. I said, I knew it. It was the doggone child that was driving her up the wall. See, that's why y'all men gotta do y'all fucking parts and stop lacking up on these women that you decided to have children with. And then leaving them alone to take care of a child 24 seven. And, and families already done their part as far as they can. Y'all have to step up and do the same damn thing too. It doesn't make any fucking sense. And I feel so sorry for her because she got to that point. I feel so bad for her. And I hope that her family and everybody else around her wakes up and helps her out a lot more. Y'all please just wake up out.